right here, you're getting a really good view from Thomas Pesquet. He spent six months on the International Space Station. French astronaut Thomas Pesquet, a celebrity at home and known the world over for his mission, hundreds of kilometers above Earth. All of the primary tasks have been completed. And now he's inspiring the next generation to reach for the stars, sharing his out-of-this-world experiences with school children at the Euro Space Centre in Belgium. How do you look back on your experience on the ISS? Well, it was the most fantastic time of my life. Seen from orbit, uh, the Earth is, is so small and tiny and isolated. And that's what we, we can't really understand, what we can't grapple when we're here on Earth. Going out the door in, in, uh, in a spacesuit for a spacewalk, that was fantastic. Hanging you know, on the outside of the ISS just by two fingers and watching below my feet 450 kilometers of, of void. That was the most extreme experience I've ever had. When you came back to Earth in that Sawyer's capsule and you took your breath of fresh air, what was that like? I was very happy, I was relieved, I was not feeling very good physically because coming back to Earth after six months without feeling the effects of gravity is very difficult. Um, but actually the, the feeling is as if everything had been put to, to maximum, like the smells, I could, I could smell the, the cologne of the people you know, picking me up from the capsule, uh, the colors, the contrast, everything was put to maximum. That's really the feeling I had when coming back to Earth. And Thomas's passion for space has clearly left a mark on his young audience in Belgium. I really like Thomas and he inspires me to want to go to space because it looks incredible. You're floating in the air and I really want to do that. I think this was really great because he went to space and when we enter another universe it's good. I also want to do that. We managed to inspire young people across Europe, mostly in France, yes, but, but all across Europe, um, which is good because there's a huge potential uh, of dream in, in, in what we do in space. This is not only something very dry, very technical, uh, very scientific. This also has a potential to inspire people uh, to achieve their dreams and then and go out and you know try hard and, and, and try to do their best. And I certainly encourage them to do so. What's next for Thomas Pesquet? When will you next go to space? It takes a huge amount of work, you know, on the ground to make some people fly to space. So now I'm doing my part uh, and I will continue to do so until maybe they, they call my number again, in which case I'll be the happiest uh, young man on Earth. When do you think they might call your number? I don't know. I'm hoping we have the ISS until 2024 at least because everybody committed. Um, so I'm hoping before that date I, I get a second chance, maybe if I stay healthy.